Drilling and Placing Vertical Ground Source Heat Pump Loop, International Ground Source Heat Pump Association, courtesy of Comfort Works, Goldsby, Oklahoma. Make sure a building is ready before going to site. For example, bricks need to be moved. Or a raising rig. Uh, getting ready to drill. Setting short surface casing and flat mud ring. No water or mud can be on some city streets. Digging a trench or mud pit in case of hitting water or to control mud is a must. Air and water drilling produces mud. Moving the mud out of the way. Adding more drill pipe. some mud flow. High density polyethylene pipe for geothermal heat pumps loops. Loop design calls for one inch by 610 feet polyethylene pipe for each of the 300 foot deep boreholes. Time to get the polyethylene pipe ready to send down to the borehole. Cut all bindings after pipe is put on spooler. Water is added to the polyethylene pipe to provide weight and help straighten pipe out as it is dropped down borehole. After water runs out of the end of the polyethylene pipe, it is bent and sealed with duct tape. The other end of the polyethylene pipe has duct tape applied to assist the worker when he bends the pipe and seals the end. Worker bends end of polyethylene pipe to close off water and to seal the end with duct tape. Worker duct tapes the end of the polyethylene pipe to hold sealed bent pipe end. Water source is then removed once polyethylene pipe is duct taped and sealed. To add weight and help penetrate mud, a 1 inch diameter steel rod 8 foot long is attached at the U-bend end of the pipe and duct taped in place.
The steel rod is being attached to the U-bend end of the polyethylene pipe with duct tape. Every three feet, additional duct tape is wrapped around the polyethylene pipe and steel rod. The end of the steel rod and the polyethylene pipe are double wrapped to prevent any snags with grouting trimming tube. The tape polyethylene pipe and steel rod is ready to be inserted into the borehole. Notice the rebar taped across the top to prevent the polyethylene pipe from unwinding from the top. inserting the polyethylene pipe into the borehole. With a lot of weight in the pipe, care must be taken for safety to maintain control. Workers maintain control of the polyethylene pipe as it slides down the borehole. Workers hold the polyethylene pipe back, allowing it to slip down to the bottom of the borehole in a safe manner. Time to relax for a minute and move the rig to another borehole location. This borehole took about two hours to drill and insert polyethylene loop. Once several other boreholes are drilled, they will be grouted to complete the process. Drilling and placing vertical ground source heat pump loop. Ixpa, http www.ixpa.okstate.edu, courtesy of Comfortworks Incorporated, Goldsby, Oklahoma.